Good morning, guys. Welcome back to a new week of shenanigans. <laughs> so it is October 5th. Today is a wonderful, wonderful Monday. I'm going to get started. I'm going to do my own ab workout and my own arm slash leg workout. I'm basically going to do like full body um, circuit, essentially. So that is what we're going to start the Monday with. Yesterday, I have to be honest, I bought those tortilla chips from Costco. And I went through a lot of it with the salsa. And that was the only bad thing that I ate. Everything else was like very healthy, very good. And I weighed myself and I gained weight. <laughs> so no chips and salsa for this girl. Because I literally like that's all I ate. Like I had oatmeal and then I just kept eating chips and salsa because I kept craving it and I just need to not have it so gained like another two pounds went up to 218 which is just scary so I threw out the rest of the tortilla chips because I was just like temptation be gone I only have one salsa thing left and I'm not gonna open it <laughs> I'm just going to stick with the meals this week are going to be oatmeal, which I'm going to cut back on the size because the amount of oatmeal that I had with the added toppings of fruit have just been like a lot in the morning and I don't end up wanting to eat any more after that. So because I prefer having three meals a day, I'm going to cut the recipe for the oatmeal in half and then stick with the toppings that I always have and then have like my lunch and dinner be like a protein with my vegetables and stuff like that. That is what is going to be the plan this week is have oatmeals in the morning, breakfast, lunch and dinner is going to be either shrimp or chicken with vegetables and then if I am craving or wanting a snack, eating those carrots, <laughs> eating carrots because that is what I need to do also I bought this new like supplement thing it's from Alchemind it's called it's from well it's Alchemind minerals but it's from a website called get off your acid I follow the gray layers on Instagram and she talked about like that how she has like acid reflux and gets like you know and digestion and stuff like that and when I eat acidic foods like that salsa which I have been my acid reflux kind of just starts kick kickstarting a lot and I felt that and I'm just like you know what just to take precautions I'm just gonna buy the supplement and see if it works for me and helps with acidic foods and acidic drinks that I have because I love ketchup and I love salsa and you know to make like if I want to have pasta I don't have to worry about my acid reflux just acting up which it has been especially the fact that I've gone through like two things of salsa in the past couple like five days or whatever which is not good for me personally so or was it three I don't really know yeah I don't know two or three anyways I'm gonna get started working out now. Also yesterday I went on a hike and I went on a very easy hike. It wasn't like hard. I did it for like an hour, hour and a half actually. And it was just really good. So I'm gonna try to go on hikes more often, especially now that it's fall, like the weather is perfect because I don't like hiking when it's like really hot. Cause I just, I prefer wearing leggings. Cause if I fall or something, I'd rather have like full coverage on my legs. Where, as in the summer, you would really want to wear like shorts and stuff like that because it does get hot and I get hot. So, I'm excited to start hiking now. That's going to be my thing. So, I hiked yesterday. Anyways, let's get this workout. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
guess some cats look the same. That cat sits. Are you sure it wasn't the cat Frank calling us from the bathroom? Ugh. Sorry this wasn't fun, guys. No problem. It was either this or helping my dad fill up his water bed. We could use this to make a mountain cat poster. Will you offer a reward if we find the right owner? <sighs> Fine. Guys, a help! Hi, kids! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ah! Welcome back. So I'm having lunch. I cut up some mango, at least what was good of the, it's hard to see. I'm just going to put it up. Dish the mango. Yeah, it was going bad. So I just cut out the parts that were good. And I'm having some chicken, as you can see with some carrots and green beans. Don't want it to fall. Don't want it to fall. This is the lunch today. Mmm. Good morning. It's like 7.15. I am... I woke up early. I've been waking up early and just going back to sleep, which is not good. Because I get enough hours of sleep to wake up the first time. I am going out on a walk this morning because it is nice and crisp outside. And why not? I haven't gone on a walk in a long time since like the summer. So... I'm gonna try going on walks. I'm not gonna take you with me because I'm just gonna walk in my neighborhood. And it's not like you really need to see it. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do this morning. I think on days that I'm not like working out, I'm gonna go for a walk or something. So twice a week, but it's better than nothing. Solidify out of the oven. You know what I don't have? Time. And we're all marching slowly. And for lunch. I don't know why I wanted to sound like an announcer just then. I am having the Thai noodles. Like, you can kind of see them underneath there. Can you? Yeah, you can kind of see them. With some chicken and some stir fry vegetables. That is my lunch for today. Also, the walk that I did earlier was really good. I'm definitely going to try to incorporate it a couple times a week especially hiking on the weekends because I just need to get outside more and for my mental clarity it's helped a lot just getting outside because on weeks when I'm not going outside just on the weekends not that great for me but mentally getting outside I just feel so much better I feel more positive I feel more productive whereas last week I just was the past couple weeks I just haven't really felt great mentally because I would stay inside and not really go out on the week like I mean I would go out on the weekends I would have some plans but still I would mainly just stay inside all day and not leave the house Monday through Friday which was just like not great sometimes even Saturday I wouldn't leave I would only leave to like go get groceries and that was about it so I need to go outdoors and see nature that's what I need to do I feel like a lot of people are gonna get annoyed that I'm doing an English accent but you know it don't care don't care i want to get better at it i also want to get better at other accents too i don't know why i just want to i think accents are really cool anyways gonna enjoy my meal and watch hannibal kill me and no amount of blueberries or antioxidants can change that now <laughs>
because I have the laundry going because I as you guys saw I worked out in like bike cyclist shorts I'm trying to make sure I'm still getting used to like doing my edges so like I'm not the best at them and I'm using this edge wax which is not the greatest thing on the earth but one day I'm gonna get proper like edge control even though that's edge wax, like it, it's not my favorite. I'm gonna try the one from Tracy Ellis Ross next once I finish that. Cause I'm not a type of person who likes to buy like, if I have like shampoo and conditioner, I'm not gonna buy another bottle of shampoo and conditioner until I finish that or I know I'm like so close to finishing that I'm like, okay, then I can have like my backup ready to go. But since I still have a lot of edge wax left, I'm gonna, Wait, so I'm trying to like use it up by going through the jail, you know what I'm saying? But guys, exciting news. I just weighed myself this morning because I weigh myself every day, as you guys know. And I lost a pound. No longer 219, I'm 218. So I'm finally like going back down, which makes me really excited and really motivates me a lot. I feel like seeing numbers on a scale can be not that great for a lot of people but for me when i see that the number is going down i'm just like yes and plus because i just really don't want to gain any more weight i'm just like ooh, that was so close to getting to 233 and i really don't want to go back up to 233 235 i want to go back down so yeah between yesterday and today losing a pound i'm feeling really great about that and i showed you guys everything that i ate Oh, minus the plantain chips. I had the rest of the half of that other bag. I have like peanuts and stuff like that and carrots as my snacks. So I'm, the plantain chips were just, 
I have them until I run out and then I go through my other snacks and making self making sure that I eat my vegetables as my snacks as well so that is that currently making my oatmeal it is 8 53 so I'm starting a little late today because I was just this morning I didn't want to work out I was I just woke up and I was just like I want to stay in bed to the last possible minute I don't want to do anything yeah, I was just really tired. Also, I watched Hannibal, the show, and it's so good. I finally watched Silence of the Lambs, which I've never seen before. My friend at work was telling me to watch it, and she's such a movie buff, so I was just like, okay, I'm gonna watch this. And I watched it, and it was really good. It wasn't, when she described it, because I was thinking it was like this really scary movie, horrifying, and there are parts that are horrifying because it's back then it's not as gory whereas if you've watched stuff from game of thrones you're just like that is truly gory <laughs> it wasn't on game of thrones level which i appreciated but also made me feel like i am desensitized to a lot of things <laughs> anyways i watched Lions of the lambs loved it it was really good the acting was just it was just so so good and the ending i was just i need I need a part two but there is no part two there's the red dragon which i was starting to watch but then i was like i don't really want to watch this right now just because like how it started off seemed it just went in straight in and i it went in from the beginning from the get-go and i was just like hmm i feel like i should just save this for another time and then i was i am interested in watching hannibal the show so i will watch that and i ended up watching like eight or nine episodes it was so good plants and chips i think i had immediately after lunch i just forgot to show it but i'm telling you about it now so that's that's what matters also how many of you guys are like soakers when it comes to your dishes i'm a soaker if there's things on there if i can get it off immediately then yeah but if i'm feeling a little bit lazy i will soak that ish in hot water so that it's easier for me to clean later also i don't know if i've talked about all the toppings that i've got put on my oatmeal but i'll do a separate video on how i make oatmeal it's similar to my last one but it's a little bit more aesthetically placing and yeah I mean, not that I'm adding kefir into it, but it's whatever. It's really tasty. Oh, I didn't put honey. I miss the honey. If you are a person who doesn't take like vitamins or whatever, or are wanting to get into like taking a probiotic or a prebiotic, kefir is a natural way of getting that kind of like yogurt because it naturally has bacteria in it that is good for your gut health. And because that is what I'm trying to promote within myself, I like taking as probiotics in a way that's natural because I took one in the past, I think like a year and a half ago, two years, and it gave me GERD. <laughs> and so now anytime I have acidic food, I get acid reflux, which is just like not my favorite. But I'm, I, as I told you guys, I'm, I ordered it from Get Off Your Acid to get that help with like my acid reflux and stuff like that in a more natural way because it's powdered and I I don't really want to take a pill I'd prefer to take a powder because I feel like my body reacts a lot better to that than with pills I think the only pills that I would consider taking in the future is fish oil which get off your acid has one and I think I want to buy it next along with vitamin D but I want to kind of talk with my grandma first about that just that I'm taking the right thing because she takes vitamin D and she also takes fish oil but I just want to be like, and I know, and I know enough about fish oil that I'm like confident that I should take it. With vitamin D, I just there's a lot of different types of vitamin Ds out there, and I want to take the right one. And I found the fish oil that is right for me that I feel like, it, and it's by Get Off Your Acid. Obviously, I have to take it first to really see if it really does mesh with my body well. With everything that I've read about it, it just it seems like the most natural option and sustainable and ethical way of getting and obtaining fish oil which is important to me to be ethical and sustainable with a lot of the things that i do but anyways that's my little rant and i'm having my green juice as always what are you doing hi 
No. <laughs> you saying no? No. You're so cute. I'm, why are you taking a picture, Jess? I'm not man. taking a picture. I'm videotaping. My hair is not right and stuff, and I'm my face, and I don't have my glasses on. You know? You're fine, Grandma. <laughs> So I'm currently making my lunch right now. I'm making my chicken. You can see right here, making that chicken. I have my Thai noodles getting ready. I'm about to get my vegetables ready out of the freezer and put those up once the chicken is ready, which it essentially is. This chicken off the bone does not take that long to cook. I had the mixed nuts yesterday as a snack on a call. So it was this stuff right here that I got from Costco. I actually like having these as snacks. And also I buy a lot of my things, <laughs> I buy a lot of foods unsalted because I have an aversion to salt. Um, I can cook with it, which is fine, but like I need to be able to control the amount of salt that I'm putting in because I find that food that has too much salt is just a lot for me and I don't like that at all. It just doesn't taste really good to me. So I cook with not a lot of salt because I would prefer to flavor my food with other things besides salt. Because that is what is important to me. Guys, I'm still watching Hannibal. It's, the show is like, it is gory, I will say. Like there are parts of it that I'm just like, this is terrifying to watch. And if there's something that's scary on the screen, I close my eyes and I close my ears because, <laughs> close my eyes and I plug my ears. because I just don't want to hear it. I'm gonna try this little tiny piece of chicken. Mmm. That came out really good. Mm. But yeah, Hannibal's really good. Like, it's like crime. It's a crime show. Serial killer. Trying to catch a serial killer. It's insane. I'm going to put you up here. So I don't have to do all this work. So, in case you're wondering what kind of seasoning that I use. I've shown it before gonna so I use this umami seasoning from Trader Joe's along with onion salt this stuff is so good smoked paprika which is like an all-time fave I also will add in cayenne pepper along with some turmeric just because I know that's really good for you and I just like to I'm actually gonna put a little bit in my vegetables now the cayenne pepper but it's like really good for your heart health and immune system and all that stuff i have been cooking with the everything but bagel sesame honestly I just, it doesn't taste like anything to me like i don't i don't notice like a huge difference like these two the umami and the onion salt those are ones that i notice a nice amount of flavor and then I also have the garlic cubes in here that I cook with as well. I will put oil on and then put the garlic cube in to like melt in with the oil and then I cook everything on top of that so it really infuses and you get that aromatic flavor there which is nice. But yeah, I would say like this to me I'm not going to buy again. It was just a waste. Like I'm going to use it because I want to get rid of it because I hate wasting food, hate wasting things in general. I'm very much a minimalist in a lot of ways. If I'm not using something, I'm going to donate it. I'm going to find another home for it. I'm going to find another use for it because I just don't want to attribute more things to waste. Also, the longer that I've had my hair like this, 
the more I get shocked each time I see it because I'm expecting to see like black hair but it's not like obviously it's gray so it's just still a little bit jarring to see my hair like this in this color but yeah this is lunch today it is these mixed vegetables with chicken and noodles which the noodles are basically done I'm gonna add the sauce in now it comes with this little packet sauce here, as you can see. I'm gonna show you guys the final product of my lunch today. So here it is. Got some chicken in there with the noodles and the stir-fry vegetables. And that is today's lunch. Very, very excited to tuck into this. So I'm about to make dinner. I just need to warm up my vegetables and then add my chicken inside but I went on Crumble's website and they have a Twix flavored cookie this week and I really really want to order it but I promised that I would have no sweets this is rough guys this is so rough I I'll never know <laughs> I'll never know what that flavor of cookie tastes like. It's so sad. I'm devastated. I'm so devastated. Twix is literally like my favorite candy. It's so good, but I can't have it. <sighs> Anyways, going to make my dinner. It's 4.49, so I'm gonna get these green beans. Open this on. I slammed that down too hard. I'm just gonna use a lot of the so I'm trying to get rid of this. This is not really, it doesn't taste like anything. And that's gonna be my dinner. I'm also gonna add goat cheese to this as well. Good morning, beautiful people. So I am having a very late start to my Friday morning in terms of eating food. I had to get up early because I had a pretty early meeting this morning and then I just had like back-to-back -back meetings and now it's 10 20 <laughs> and I'm gonna eat breakfast I thought about like skipping but then I was like no I need I'm I'm feeling very hungry so I need to eat something so I'm gonna eat like breakfast since it's still kind of breakfast vibes right now but I am making what I always have, which is oatmeal this fine morning. Nice fall morning. And last night I was talking to Mel, who I live with. I was telling her how like I'm doing this challenge for myself of only 30 days of no sweets or whatever. She's like, you know, you always go to these extremes. And I'm like, you know what, you're right. She's like, you should really just try to have one sweet a week so that you're not being unsustainable with your approach to this. And I was like, you know what, I do agree, but I did promise already. And I think the reason why is just, I feel like I need a reset because I just lost control. And yes, I understand we're in a pandemic and I should have grace for myself, I get that. But I was, like I got up to 219 and, <laughs> which was just not what I wanted. Eat, like the past several weeks you guys have seen, I'm like, oh yeah, like this is gonna be the highest that we're gonna go, we're gonna go down. And then I just kept going up. And even though I was eating healthy, I was still overeating. It was too much for me. So I, with gaining weight and seeing that I was going up and up and, and on the scale, like I just, oh gosh. I did not like that at all. I like hated that I was gaining the weight because that's not what I wanted. I, I don't feel my best when I'm super heavy like that. And 
which is why I started this weight loss journey. So I'm just doing what I need to do right now to kind of like reset myself. But I do agree that I need to have one sweet a week, but I'm not going to do that this month. I think once the, the 30 days of clean eating are over and clean eating, like me not buying sweets type of thing, I am gonna go to just one sweet treat a week. So if I'm gonna have ice cream and I'm gonna have that pint, it, it, like if I buy pints of ice cream, that's gonna be it that weekend or, you know, for that week. And if I'm gonna have a cookie, just one cookie or, you know, just one thing and just go back to doing that and just trying to maintain balance with that because that's honestly what I need to do. Because I did say that, I wanted to be more balanced because when I am at the weight that I want to be, like I know I'm gonna be eating the, the sweets and stuff like that, which I don't wanna deny myself those things, but at the same time, for right now, I feel like this 30 day reset of just getting into a better headspace, losing the weight, being in a deficit, going down, and pounds is like what I need to help me get back on track because I just felt like I was too out of control. And so I needed to go into a place of just a lot of control, which was 30 days of no sweets. And I feel like anytime I say something to you guys on here, I follow through with it. So me not having sweets for 30 days, I'm following through with it. I'm not gonna do that. Also, that brings me to tomorrow. I'm going on a hike tomorrow with some people and I'm not going to be able to like showcase like what I'm eating. So today will be like the day that I showcase my food and then tomorrow morning early I'm going to do a weigh in and then that will be it for this week. So tomorrow you won't see anything in terms of food and what I'm eating. So I'll see you guys like Monday after I show like my weight, my weigh in tomorrow morning on Saturday. But yeah, I'm, I'm doing a hike and it's like in the mountains and we're going to be gone like pretty much all day. I won't be back home until like 6. It's just going to be quite a long hike. I'm trying to mentally prepare myself and make sure I have enough water <laughs> and snacks. I'm going to bring like a bunch of carrots. I'm going to bring some nuts and yeah, just make sure that I'm like taken care of on this hike. And then also bringing several masks with myself so that I am just protected because I just... Yeah, these are crazy times and I still want to be safe. So I'm probably going to drive separately just to like feel safe for myself. That is kind of like what's happening tomorrow. So I'm excited to like go on a long hike, but um, also like want to be careful. Ooh, my get off your acid package is getting delivered next Thursday. It's taking forever to come. But nonetheless, I'm excited because my acid reflux, because of the amount of salsa that I had last week and the week before, well, last week and that weekend, I think it was last week. I don't really remember the days, but I'm pretty sure it was. I just kind of have a lot of like acid built up and I feel it and I have to drink like a lot of water so that I'm not feeling like horrible, essentially. So I'm just really excited to finally get this um, supplement so that it can help with my acid reflux and I hope it actually works. I hope I actually notice a difference. Also, I'm like basically done with this Beauty Collagen's Vital Protein thing. It's with the Beauty Greens. They have like regular ones that don't have greens in them. And I think I might buy that because you get more for your buck at Costco. It's just like plain blue packaging. I don't think it has any flavor in it whatsoever. So I think I'm just gonna get that next time and then add it to my celery juice. And then the Alchemine thing, it's supposed to like help with sleep. So you're supposed to take it like later in the day which is what I plan on doing. I plan on doing just that. I definitely need to get more bananas because I'm running out and these are not good. At all. Also, I'm almost done with season two of Hannibal. It's a little scary, I'm not gonna lie, but it's, 
I just have to keep knowing what's happening happening next yeah, let me show you my um, oatmeal real quick so I'm just like making my <laughs> it looks like a mess but essentially it's gonna be like what I always make so yeah this is breakfast getting made and I have little chocolate chips in there I'm gonna add to this and I'm just gonna cut around the bad parts of the banana and put my toppings all over so yeah all right, so it's about two hours later, and yes, I look very different because I put makeup on. I'm not that hungry, but I want to keep myself like on a good schedule, so it is 12.22. You're not, you can't see that. I'm not going to show you. But anyways, it is 12.22. I am making lunch, which is just chicken with green beans and some goat cheese, which I will show you here in a minute. But yeah, that is what I'm having today for lunch. Oh, jeez. I thought my grandma was gonna fall. It didn't though, so we're good. I'm gonna see this chicken and green beans. And then I have my goat cheese in here. Last little goat cheese what I got from Cash Go. I don't know if I mentioned this before. I think I have, but I have these like reusable bags that I got from World Market just so that I'm not like buying over and over again like plastic bags. I'm just trying to be a little bit more sustainable in a lot of ways. And then I also have been using this like beeswax paper so you can use it to like cover things and kind of wipe it down and stuff like that. So it is from Sundays. It is sustainable, reusable food wrap, plastic free, assorted three pack, small, medium, and large. Ooh, I definitely did not keep it away from hot water. But when you put hot when you put hot water on it, it like gets really like loose. But when you put cold water in it, it starts to harden again. See all that goat cheese? Yeah. Can you see the the heat? Yeah, you can. But yeah, that is today's. Ooh, that area is wet. That is today's lunch. As again, I said I'm not that hungry, but still, I'm wanting to keep on a schedule. So the next time I will eat will be at dinner time, which will be around four or five o'clock. Yeah. Thing is, you don't have to be hungry to eat. <laughs> hot, 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 hot. Also, I don't show me eating on camera that much because I tend to open my mouth when I'm eating because I'm a mouth breather and I know some people can get annoyed by that so and also I'm not the most attractive eater like I'm really trying right now but failing so I need to go to Best Buy today and grab myself an external hard drive oh also, has anyone else been getting like these random text messages from these voting people? I'm just like, I always just reply, stop. Like, I'm already registered to vote. I am gonna vote. My ballot's gonna be mailed to me. Why are we texting? I already know that I'm registered. Like, leave me alone. Leave me alone. And it's from a state that I no longer, like, I'm no longer affiliated with. So I'm just like, why? Politically, I'm like no longer affiliated with your state. So. Anyways, I am going to finish up some work now. It's like about 2.30. I think I'm just going to take like a quick break and head to Best Buy. And then show you guys my external hard drive because I want to show you what I got and hopefully if there's any of you guys out there who could like give me advice in the comments let me know that I choose the right one so yeah I'll see you in a bit all right so I got more of the vital proteins collagen peptides I got the really big one from Costco it's the 24 ounce one and then I got milk, which it is very small for how expensive it is, but 
the ingredients are very minimal which I feel like is worth it so you're not getting all that like extra stuff in your milk so I think that's what I'm gonna go with from now on and then in just preparation for tomorrow water this like core bar and salmon jerky and then tonight's dinner is this what's it called crazy train roll um, sushi so that is what I'm having tonight for dinner and maybe with a little bit of wine because I have like basically the glass left so might have some of this Good morning. So I forgot to check in yesterday because I got in pretty late and I was extremely tired, <laughs> but I weighed 217. So that is the final weigh in, which is nice. So I've lost a couple pounds this week. Two, a little bit more than two actually, 2.7. So very, very exciting. I'm not sure of what I see, Cupid, don't f*** with me Are you telling me this is a sign? She's looking in my eyes, and I don't see no other guys Are you telling me this is a sign?